In today's video, we are starting a new series where we'll start learning the machine learning and artificial intelligence in Java and Python. For today's topic, we'll look at the first example. We'll discuss about K nearest neighbor algorithm, which is also known as KNN. KNN algorithm is a very simple machine algorithm used for classification or precisely supervised classification. Now what does the classification mean? I'll try to demonstrate to you with an example and a small handwritten diagram. Imagine we have certain data of fruits and the fruits data consists of weight its color and finally the fruit name or label correct for example one instance of a fruit can be it has a weight of 50 it has a color of 5 and its label is let's say apple correct so what do we mean by classification is where we can use certain type of data so let's say there are n number of data so this could be our train data and we want to classify another instance of a fruit where its weight is present let's say 60 and it has a color of 6 but its label is missing it's a missing or unknown or unknown label name is there so how do we predict this name based on this two information that we already have correct and that can be achieved using KNL algorithm so let's understand what are the first components of KNL algorithm main components are it has a train data set so something like this so this would be our train data set correct and second would be a distance metric in KNN, we calculate a uh, distance metric which can be in terms of uh, Euclidean distance and then finally we have a third thing called as a test data set. So here when we look at the one which is marked in orange, this part is called as a test data set. Correct? So what basically we are going to do is we have one set of information already collected information such as training data set then we pass in input test data set which has a missing label name correct but only fruit weight and color is present and based on that we will calculate some distance and that kernel algorithm will help us predict the most suitable label name for this particular instance correct like let's try to understand in a 2d diagrammatical form imagine Just a second, page is loading. Yeah. So imagine there is x axis and y axis in the same fruits prediction example. We have a color as an x axis value. This is color, then this is going to be our weight, and so we have certain data points already present from our train data set let's say there are few data points over here which are of category banana right then we have some category which are marked in green these are going to be apples then we have few here which we call it as a as a kiwi right then there's a few over here set of points can be scattered also and these are uh, mango correct let's say we provide a test data set uh, let's say x this is our x text data set correct so we have its weight let's say it is 50 let's say its color is 5 but we don't have the label name so how do we predict that label so for that prediction we'll use this kernel algorithm what it will basically do is it will calculate the distance between 
each data point between each data point it will calculate the distance between all the sets of data point correct and based on the distance it will keep a list of this distance stored and then generate sort this information and the one the distance which is closest to this x let's say it is closest to mangoes right so then it will let's say it is close to mango then this particular instance will become a mango correct so let's see how can we implement this again let's revisit what are the components of main components of kn algorithm first is the train data set second is the distance metric that we'll look at in a code just a moment then there is a test data set test data set will be our input a uh, hyper hyper variable and based on that hyper variable what we will do is we will calculate the distance using the distance metric based on the distance metric which one whichever would be closest to the existing data points from the data set it will set its value as that let's look at this with an example and this we will look at with the help of java program so first let me show you the data this will be our trained data set so the if you look at my screen right now the fruits.css csv is our train data set i i generated this test data set from chatgpt uh, this has given me few instances of fruit first instance says okay i am a weight of 45 then i have uh, two as my color label and then the label name is banana correct so what are we going to do is we are going to consume this train data set right then uh, with with this train data set we will we'll iterate through it and then generate the distance between it based on the fruit input so here is our test data set so this is our train data set and this is our test data let me go through uh, very minutely all the codes that we have done so because we are reading this csv file and it has an instance for this example it has only two parameters weight and color and there is a label name so what i have done is i have created a fruit class correct see it is a fruit class right and then it implements comparable i'll tell you why comparable has been implemented but just for now understand see we have a integer of weight integer of color then i have a attribute called string label label will be the fruit name and then we have additional uh, attribute called distance we'll keep this side so that we can store this Uh, distance and use this distance value for sorting algorithm right so this particular is a constructor method where it takes in three arguments weight color and label and initializes it then we have a fruit takes another constructor overloaded with just two arguments there is another overloaded constructor with one argument then the other are the getters and setters right then there is an implementation of a two string where we can show the uh, input so the uh, string representation of this object and then there is a uh, euclidean distance method this basically serves as the second component that we looked at this would be the distance metric basically in euclidean distance what we are going to do is we are going to calculate x minus x1 minus x2 square y y1 minus y2 square and that we do with the help of math dot methods that we provided in java that is present in java then there is a final distance calculation with the help of math dot sqrt it will sum of this both x minus x1 minus y1 square plus y1 minus y2 square correct and then finally set this distance to the respective distance instance that's why we use the distance as a additional attribute correct and then return the fruit now let's see how this particular uh, fruit instance will read the csv file and how it will iterate and how the logic will work to distance calculation first in this main method i have named this as a fruit classifier because basically knn's main purpose is to do classification work supervised classification right so we have named this as fruit classifier then there will be this main method or the main thread and using the buffer of buffer read i am going to read this train data set correct fruit.csv 
this is our train data set. Let me write this is train data set. Okay. Then there is a this initialization of line. What I do is I, I what I want to do is I want to read this data, data set, right? And then store it into the list of fruits. That's why I have defined an empty list of fruits. Then with the help of buffer reader br, I will first keep the header line. So for that I'll just simply run this read line. So it will skip the first line and then pointer will be at the second line. From second line onwards, what I am doing, I'm running a for loop, and for each line, we'll use the split operator because it is split by comma, most because it's a CSV file, obviously. It will have a comma separated field. So with the help of splitter, I am creating new instances of fruit and storing it to <coughs> list of fruits. Right? <coughs> this will be list of fruits. After we have prepared the list of fruits, what we will do, we will provide a test data set. In this test data set, what I am trying to predict is we have a test uh, train data set of fruit for 403 correct let me give it something closer so it just would be fruit 203 so we have a test data or a test instance with a value of 200 as a weight and its color is 3 and this value is unknown obviously right so with the help of and we give this as an input the strain test data set to our train data set it will compare it and then generate the result so what do we do next is what we will do is for each list of fruits we will prepare a new fruit list and this new fruit list will have a new instance of fruit with distances calculated with it so currently when we define create this list of users this fruits list there is no distance present right so additionally to create distance we will invoke the static Euclidean distance on each fruit fruit fruits so this Euclidean distance basically accepts a list of fruits and a new fruit the test fruit and for each value of the fruits class, fruits list for each fruit instance it will calculate the distance and set it to its respective instance correct that's why we invoke it over here with the list of fruit existing fruit from the what was that it was a train data set right with the, this information is coming from the train data set and this new fruit will be a test data set and this is our distance matrix so all the three components is easily located at line number 27 correct then after this new fruit is resulted we can see the new fruit each of the fruit instance is populated with its weights, color, table and distance. Correct. Now what we want to do is uh, we want to sort this data. Basically KNN says ok I have calculated the distance. Now let me sort this data. So it will basically use the collections.sort data and this data will be sorted based on the comparable information. It will be sorted based on the distance. Hence we implement the comparable interface. Correct with a generic type of tea fruit and for each it will compare the distance of it so whoever will be the closest distance will be sorted in an ascending in the descending order okay. then what we do we stream this new fruit and we'll pick up three the three most closest fruit instances okay. and then print out the information so basically let's run this now I've already coded this. So when we run this, right, for the first three closest distance that we receive is the first one is the two, then this is in ascending order. So obviously the closest will be ascending, then it will be having the farthest one, then it will be the most farthest one. The first closest instance is with the distance of two zero to our test point. Hence, the unknown value is predicted to be a watermelon. So basically we have classified this test data 
as a watermelon based on the algorithm that we have called KNN. This is usually used in many uh, real world examples such as uh, stock market prediction, it is used in many of banking services where some of the data is missing. So geographically we want to know what will be the most predicted or the most closest information. At that time we will use the KNN algorithm. Great then. I hope you have understood this algorithm. It's a very basic simple machine learning algorithm used for classification purpose. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.